And we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Clunger Show. So this shit right here is staying right here all year. But this shouldn't be stressful at all. That's when Pop Hunter just because he wouldn't give it to him. Jeans, private stock lead, but it's let's go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another Closers Cage match. For those of you guys who are uninitiated, we are having two of the top closers in the space going head-to-head, -head, going to see who can win. The format of tonight is going to be call for call, dial for dial. It's going to be back and forth. Whoever gets the better calls wins. You guys, the audience, are going to play as one of our judges tonight. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you guys hang out to the very end because you're going to have a chance to vote on who you think the winner is, and that is going to weigh in very heavily in the decision-making process. We're going to have three uh, judges. I will be one of them. You guys will be one of them. And, of course, Gene Blinkoff will be the third. Now, for those of you guys who don't know where we're getting these leads, these leads are all coming from our platform, iSpeedToLead.com. Use the link in the description to sign up now. It is 100% free. It's a marketplace where you can go and find motivated sellers in your area that we have already generated in 30 seconds or less. I'm sure you guys might have a lot of questions, but it is literally free to sign up. Just go on the platform, scroll around, check it out. It will answer all of your questions, I guarantee. Go check it out. It's totally worth it. It's free. And there's cool leads on there. And we do a bunch of discount codes too. But tonight, I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory on who our two contestants are and why they hate each other so much. In the blue corner tonight, we've got Mr. Scotty Balsamo. Balsamo Holmes. Now this guy, he's a smooth talker. And if, if those of you guys who uh, know our other contestant, RJ, know that uh, he doesn't like these types, right? He's straight to the point. He's real. He wants to get a contract done. He doesn't want to waste any time. That's what Scotty does in his eyes. Scotty was like a gnat buzzing around in RJ's head for weeks, spamming him in the DMs, calling him a loser, saying he's a shitter, right? I mean, just real, just Call of Duty type trash talk. It was, it was pretty ugly. And so RJ just felt like Scotty was not up to the challenge, felt like he couldn't get it done. So he did what he, he probably should have done. And he said, listen, Scotty, if you want to face me, you've got to face some lower thresholds first. You've proven yourself. We don't know who you are. Nobody does. You're nothing to me, right? You're a peon. So we had our last closers cage match between Scotty Barons and Daryl Ellison, right? Another fantastic closer from the sub two community. And so throughout that time, it, I mean, it was an excellent match. And at the end of it, Scotty did come out on top and earn the right to challenge RJ to a one-on-one, -on -one, which we are here tonight watching. And then of course, in our red corner, we have the beast from the South, it's not a really great analogy, but it's the best I can come up with. Mr. RJ Bates, the king closer. The man is just the man, the myth, the legend. You guys know him. Everybody does. That's why you guys are all here. You guys are here to see him crush Scotty, right? So Scotty, obviously the underdog of the night, but uh, I mean, it's kind of hard not to be when you're faced against such a titan. But without further ado, I think we're going to get them both in here. Let's hear their sides of the story. Hear a little bit of trash talk and... Uh, and from there, we're just going get to him, get him rolling on the phones. See so who's going to get the dub tonight. First, let's welcome in Mr. Scotty Balsamo. What's up, man? What's up, baby? How's it going, Liam? I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? I'm great. Living the life. I'm glad to be back here. It's been a long couple months waiting for RJ to hit me up. And uh, I thought you guys forgot about me, actually. But, uh, but yep, here we are. And... Uh, it's a beautiful well, day. He actually hit me up last week and he said he did forget about you. You just weren't that big of an issue to him. He figured it wasn't going to be that important that people didn't want to see it. How do you respond to that? That's, you know, that's fair. I have, uh, I only have one dub under my belt, right? So, uh, you know, let's see how today rolls out and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get some uh, additional respect, put some respect on my name after so today. In your eyes, do you think you have what it takes to get the dub out from RJ? Oh, to absolutely. That, uh, to take that belt? Everybody that knows me on a personal level, which again, you know, not a lot of people, but the people that do know me and know what I'm capable of uh, are, are expecting me to win. Let me put it to you that way. Um, so yes, I know I have what it takes, but it comes down to the leads. Um, and same for RJ, you know, we, you know, we have to, we got to get people that are willing to talk. So, um, you know, we're excited and uh, that's the goal, you know, get people willing to talk and let's get some contracts locked up. 
So if you lose tonight, you think it'll be on the leads? Uh, no, I didn't say that. I mean, RJ is a beast. He's the GOAT, right? Um, so if I lose, then, um, you know, there's there's going to be a good reason why I lose, and we'll all find out together. Um, and What are you going to do tonight uh, that's going to give you the edge, right? How are you creating your edge tonight? Well, well, I know RJ wants me to close a deal. Uh, he wants me to get a contract signed. You know, he, he gave me some shit last time. Uh, I had a, a, a good call on our last uh, closer's cage, and uh, admittedly, I dropped the ball. I should have gone for the jugular and uh, got the contract signed on the call for the fans, but I didn't uh, just because normally that's not my style to uh, kind of – I don't know. I'm not going to make any excuses. I didn't get the fucking contract signed. So this time around, we're going to go for contracts – and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. It's all good. We're having fun and we're we're making money. You know, that's that's the end of the day. You know, we're at the end of the we're day. Getting contract signed, making making money, even if it doesn't get signed today. You know, is the pressure getting to you at all? Because I mean, going against RJ, the dude's a titan. He just hit twenty one, or I think twenty thousand followers on Instagram. It's a big number. He got a million views on a TikTok. That's even crazier. I mean, the pressure must be getting to your head at least a little bit. Well, I have seven hundred and twenty five followers on the Instagram. So, oh, I mean, you know, I mean, I think RJ has got the pressure on him. Let's be real. You know, everybody's expecting him to win. I'm a no name off the street. I have no pressure. I mean, the only thing I'm feeling pressure on is I hope I get a seller willing to talk, uh, you know, and willing to willing to jive a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. Yes, of course. I'm a little nervous. You know, I'm not normally used to talking in front of an audience on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I tell my guys, my acquisition managers, uh, you know, and, and really anybody who asks me about, you know, real estate and my business and how to get started. And I tell them like, guys, like I'm only good at one thing and that's talking to people on the phone. Uh, so, I mean, this is the only thing I'm really good at. So, I mean, at that, with that said, like I'm comfortable, you know what I mean? This is what I do. This is my, this is my world talking to sellers, just not necessarily on camera. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. I love him, man. All right, we're going to bring up Mr. RJ here and see what he's got to say. RJ, how, welcome in, my friend. How did I end up in a closer's cage match with a guy that bought 724 Instagram followers? How much does that even cost you? $9.99. Listen, he said everyone that knows him expects to win. So that's his mom and his dog expecting to win. <laughs> Although, I mean, what? I'm a little concerned now, RJ, man. I mean, you got to 20K pretty quickly, and you knew the numbers off the top of your head real fast. I mean, Pat hitting, Pat, Pat sending you a bill? <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that, Leo. <laughs> no, this should be fun. Uh, listen, Scotty impressed me when I when I watched him go up against Daryl. I, I judged that match. I, I, was, I was hard on him, but I, I'll admit – I thought he did a really good job, and, and I told some of the guys today, I said, yeah, I'm doing the, the closer's cage match against Scotty, and, and uh, you know, one of my guys, he actually predicted that Scotty was going to win. He's looking for a job now, um, but, uh, yeah, one of my guys actually predicted that Scotty was going to win, so fuck him. Um, but, yeah, and listen, here's the deal, Liam, just so you know. I have a hard stop at 5 p.m. Central, okay? 5 p.m. Central, okay. So we've got so we've got probably an hour and a half for us to call. So it gives us some time to do the wrap up and stuff. I've got a hard stop at five o'clock. Okay. Good to know. Now we know. Okay. All right. I mean, if you can get it done in an hour and a half, if any, I would say if anybody can get it done in an hour and a half, it's R.J. Bates. I've never seen somebody with a uh, faster style. There we go. I'm ready. Thank you. I think your women might say the same. Anyways, <laughs> welcome in Scotty and R.J. The both you guys. Also, why is nobody talking in the chat? We've got, we've got so many people here. Nobody seems even excited. You know, we can always end this thing right here. Look at this. All, right there. They're gone. Okay. You see that? We can call it. If you guys aren't getting excited in the chat to watch these two go head to head, that's just what might have to happen. Look at that. Come on. Let's get a little bit of energy in here before we get them dialing. They've got their list ready. You guys, if you get your phones out, you guys are just going to go. Uh, and, and today, Scotty will be the first dialer. RJ always likes to forfeit first dial. Um, we did a coin toss beforehand. It landed on RJ. RJ said, you know what? I don't need any kind of an edge. Hand it over to I'm Scotty. I'm like Bill Belichick. I defer to the second half. <laughs> All right. Well, if you got an hour and 45 minutes from now. I don't know if we're going to have a second half, man. Going to make it happen first half. That's fine. It'll be a blowout. Let's Scotty, really you're up, bud. Let's go. Let's go. Let's All go. right, baby. Let's go, guys. All right. Just going to get the oh. dial in. 
All right, so uh, we just pick a lead, and what do I do again? Do I make it red or something so that yeah, you yeah, know just that right click it and make it red so I know which ones you called. Word. Uh, and if you don't get, how about this? I mean, make it yellow if you don't get in contact with them. Make it red. I, I, just something so that way we can call back through them because um, yeah. these are these are really hot leads. These are like generated yesterday. This is like this list right here is worth like twenty racks. Racks on racks on racks. All right, let's do this. Um, why am I only seeing last name on this one? Uh, the fuck. Number ten, Baker. It's the one I want to call. All right, I pull up another one. I'll find. Okay, I'll I'll find the Baker. Just just call a different lead for now. Liam. Shit. Okay. Uh, Doing it to you, man. Okay. All right. So All right. let's just call Samuel Christmas. Can't go wrong with Samuel Christmas. Yeah. Hey, Samuel. What's up, man? This is Scott. How's it going? Okay, Scott. I saw that you were on my website, cashofferoption.com, within the last 24, 48 hours looking for a cash offer. No, I changed on that. Take care. Hey, wait, wait, Samuel. <laughs> I changed on that. Take care. All right. Wow. All right. I mean, you know, that's some fire to start it off with. RJ, you ready to rock, baby? So wait, red if I get in touch with them? Yes. Yeah, I'll just do red if you get in touch with them. Okay. What's up, guys? What's up, Gene? Gene, welcome in, my friend. Gene's coming to you from Paris. This is RJ Bates calling about your property on Oldfield Drive. You had uh, entered it on our website saying you were looking to sell that. Give me a call back. I want to make you a cash offer. 817-710-8689. Again, this is RJ Bates. There we go. Hey, hey, you, you know what? How about out? this, guys? I, I, want to, I want to do a little challenge for, uh, for the uh, homies we got over in the chat. Whoever we see to be bringing the most energy in here, and this is going to be totally subjective, so that you're going to have to personally connect with me. I'm going to give you five leads, right? Five ripping hot leads, okay? Whoever brings the most energy, okay? So That's I really want to see you guys just, I mean, popping off in this chat here, because I mean, like, listen, it took a lot to get these two together. You know, they're on different sides of the continent. Well, I guess, you know, Scotty is all the way in California. I mean. RJ, were you going to double dial or no? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. And I got that name for you on number 10. Go for it. I'm calling. Hurry. What's the name? Mike. Mike Baker. I'm going to double dial. I'm going to double dial. All you. Okay. Bro, Robert, you coming at me, man? You need a beard to be on the show? What the fuck is up with that, man? I've got the most baby face face in this entire industry. That's a personal attack. 
Brad in here. You know, RJ, RJ stays with the smoke at all times. You know, I came to him for some advice on a deal. And I'm like, hey, man, I need some advice real quick. He thought I was just, I don't know, asking for some general life advice. He hits me with the, once you hit puberty, do grow a beard. First thing he came at me, I was, I was like, okay, all right. Now I see how it is. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five seven zero four. Let's get that six, ink, baby. I love nine, that. Six nine nine is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Charlie, this is RJ calling about your property there on Northway. You had entered it on our website saying you're looking to sell it. Uh, I want to give you a cash offer, so give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. Mr. Danny Duncan, books to scoop up. I really like Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. It's a great one. It's on you, Scotty. Okay, filing. Run it up, Scotty. Hey, Gene, can you mute yourself? Gene's connection is fire today. I see that. Kaimani says, I've never seen RJ's forehead. He's always got a hat on. It doesn't exist. Uh, it, it's surgically implanted there. Gene Titanium. Double dial. Hit him up. Kevin says, stays hurting feelings. <laughs> Near me says, I'm native. I can't grow a beard. God won't let me. I'm in the same boat, bro. We got Mr. Tony Romero. Great event out in Milwaukee. What's up, Tony? Your call has been forward. Oh, you are, Jay? Says he keeps contracts in that beard. That's where you hide them, man. You just be taking a pen out of there. You probably could just hide a pen in there, just kind of. I want to see you do one of them TikTok filters where it removes your beard. You know, you're blowing up on there. You've got to get with the trends. I'll, I'll test that out. <laughs> you may not look quite as scary. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Mike, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Crystal Avenue. Uh, you had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that property. Uh, I want to make you a cash offer, so give me a call back, 817-710-8689. Thank you. All right, Scott, go ahead. Andrew Hooray says RJ would look like Boss Baby without the beard. <laughs> All right, Gene says 4G sucks in Paris. I'm watching and judging from Facebook, so he is here. He's here right. watching. Scotty's here down. Hey, Scotty, when you're done calling lead, you, uh, fill it in with the paint with the with the uh, paint bucket, not with the uh, the text. Oh, my bad. Are oh, you fine? Seriously, so I, gotta, so I gotta call that first guy back. Please leave your message. You can if you want, man. <laughs> you call it again or no? Yeah, I just called him again. Went right to voicemail. I'll go for it. All right. Oh. Now, everybody, I'm gonna be putting a link in all the chats here. If you, when you guys see that. Voice messaging system. Brutal. Five. Who's dialing here? Is that RJ? Yeah. The link, guys. You can go and vote on who you think is going to win. Forwarded to an automated voice 
automated voice messaging system. Let's get a feeling of it beforehand. Five, zero, one, five, two. Right now, zero, voicemails one, is winning. Zero, voicemails two, is winning. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, David, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Rustic Hills. Um, you had entered it on my website saying you're looking to sell that property. Give me a call back so I can make you a cash off offer. Uh, 817-710-8689. Thank you. Somebody says if, if RJ wins, he takes off the hat. <laughs> no, that's if he loses. That's, that's a... Yeah, guys, don't uh, vote on that poll right there. Did uh, don't vote on that is poll. This, is number eight called already? RJ, did you call number eight? No. Mark Mark Morrison, it's green though. I didn't do that. Is it no, it's just because somebody's that's just because somebody cl is clicking that, that somebody's clicked on it. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's you. It says you're okay, got it. Yep. Yeah, Angel saying the goat will win. Time to load up on some leads. So many, I mean, Gene, if you give me the uh, good graces, I'll I'll pick up some fresh new leads. Some hot new leads. Hello. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. What's up, man? This is Scott. How's it going? Good, man. What's going on? Nothing much, man. I'm just giving you a call following up on your submission on our site about uh, this a property address 10 Surrey Circle in Tifton. You're looking for a right. cash offer, right? Right. So what's going on, man? Talk to me. Uh, you own the property for 10, 15 years, something like that? Yes, I have. And uh, we like the house. We really don't want to leave and move. Uh, but if the money's right, we'll try to work something. So if the, if the money's right, uh, okay, what, what kind of right money are you looking for? Well, I don't really know, man. You know, the market around here is really uh, high right now. Uh, as soon as this big crash comes, it's all going to drop back down. So I don't know, man. I'm sitting here thinking, you know, do I ride the bubble up and then sit in the apartment for two years and then go buy something? You know? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch that. Um, say that again. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I would say, gosh, two seventy-five, three hundred around there. Two seventy-five, three hundred. Okay. Yeah, it's about it's about what the market is here. Okay, so I'm assuming the house is in good condition then. Oh, it's, it's brand new, man. We don't, oh, have any we don't have any children. No children? Yeah, well, we've got children. They're raised. Okay, so did you... Did you yeah, I got, I got grandchildren. Did, did you raise your family in this house? Uh, not this one. Oh, okay. So, how, so you've been there, what, 10, 10 years, you said? Uh, we, bought, we built it in 07. Oh, wow, you're the your original owner? Yes, sir. Wow. Where are you going to go? We're going to stay in Tifton, man. Okay. Um, and that's, and I'll be quite frank with you, man, that's the problem. You don't know where to go? Well, you know, you give us this nice big fat check, we stick it in the bank, we go to your house, and they're all inflated, too. <laughs> right. So, now what do you do? So, now you go to sit in an apartment for a year or so, and see, you know, what happens to the real estate market. See if you can kind of wait out this crash and then yeah. try to buy something low. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's our plan. Okay. So um, that's really it. Um, what made you, you know, go to Google and ask for a cash offer? My wife um, just retired from the phone company. She got a big check, and we were just trying to figure out a way to hang on to that money without paying the house off. Okay. So we after we went ahead and paid the house off yesterday. So yesterday. Now, yeah. So now we own it. <laughs> and so now I'm sitting here on top of this three hundred thousand dollar house, and I guess my plan is to sell it for free, put it in the bank, go rent an apartment for a year or so, then come back out after it's all crashes all over and everything and try to find something else. Have you and your wife started looking for rentals or do you know where you would go? No. I mean, we're staying in Tifton, but we're not. We haven't started looking, man. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. We're just, we're in the, 
win, then can we really get 300 for the time? So and if we do, and if we do, then of course everything changes. Of course. I mean, it's, going, it's going to take me 30 days to get out of here. Oh yeah, I, I totally understand that. But you know, I'm also wondering if you sell the house for 300 on the open market after all the fees and pay are paid and whatnot, you know, you're probably walking away with about 90, maybe 92 percent of whatever you sell it for. Um, so how? I don't, I don't have, I don't have it with a, uh, I don't have it with anybody. Oh no, of course not. But if you were to sell it on the open market for 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do that. Oh, you're not going to do that. No, that's why I'm chasing the uh, cash out. The okay. Cash out. Yeah. You brought I'm up. Ma- I'm, okay. I'm trying to maximize myself here, man, because what's going to happen is at some point, I'm going to have to buy another house. Exactly. So you're going to need, are, are, is your plan to buy that with cash or are you going to try to go get yeah. a mortgage? No, we're going to do cash. Are, are you going to downsize or are you going to try to stay? Yeah. No, we're downsizing. Got you. It's too big. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can take care of it, you know. But I got two bedrooms on this side of the house and a bath that we never use. And I've got a bedroom upstairs that's unfinished that, you know, my plan was eventually put an office in there. But <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at, man. I don't know. Um, no, nothing's pushing us. But I'm always, you know, you're always looking for a better deal. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm looking for a deal too, obviously. Well, sure, sure. Um, I I tried to come in at two seventy five, man, but uh, it just doesn't give me enough to go buy another one. Well, I mean, you're not going to go buy for another year, though, year and a half, right? Well, that's right. That's right. Or maybe even two. And and who knows what the market's going to look like then? I mean, we could be looking at a 30% correction, which means you could, you know, afford. Yeah, then you, yeah, then you could. So. so let me ask you this. You brought up two points that really caught my interest. Number one, you mentioned that you're going to go rent. And I also, I'm a landlord. I own quite a few rental properties across the country. I have two or three in Atlanta. And, you know, this looks like it would be a good house for me uh, to keep as a rental. Well, that was my plan. Um, We were going to buy a yacht and go sailing for 10 years and just rent the house out to a doctor or, you know, an Indian chief or, you know what I'm saying. What do you think the house could rent for? So hear me out on this. Okay, go ahead. What if I paid you somewhere between two seventy five and three and you carried back for a couple of years while I stabilize the asset by getting a tenant in place at market rents? And when you're ready to go buy you can give me a couple months notice and I can refinance the property or even sell the property at which point you would be paid out. The only way I can make that work though, is if my obligation to you is covered by a renter, meaning if I, so if I can get 25 a month and pay you somewhere around 15 to two, then that creates a positive cash flow situation for me where I don't really care what I buy the house for as long as it can create a positive cash flow. Now, I shouldn't say I don't care because of course I'm not going to pay $100,000 more than the retail, but I can maybe pay closer to the retail is what I'm trying to say. Because, Because here's the thing, you went to Google and you asked for a cash offer, a quick cash offer, someone to come up with a a number that makes you and your wife happy in a short amount of time. But the problem is, is that number is not going to make an investor happy, you know, because there's, there needs to be a clear path to repayment. You know, uh, there needs, if it needs to be good enough where we can put some money into it and flip it for a profit, I guess is the point. So really the way that I can make it work is if I, if I was going to buy it is if I were to keep it as a rental, 
and somehow figure out a way to satisfy your request of somewhere between 275 and 300 and um, collect more in rent than what I have to pay you. So here, I just did a quick and dirty math where you held back, uh, let's see, $285,000 at, let's see, at 5% interest, which I mean, I'm going high because I'm trying to entice you. I would normally start lower. Well, that's a hell of a house. Yeah, I mean, if I paid you 285, and you held back 285 at 5% interest, that's paying you 1,530 bucks a month. Right. And you could take that money and go find a nice rental. Um, you know, you could hang out for a couple of years while you let the market cool down um, and potentially start looking for a place to buy. All the meanwhile, I can get a renter in there paying more than 1,530 bucks a month to create some positive cash flow. And now you're looking at two happy parties. You know, you got your number and I got a house that's producing positive cash flow. What do you think? Uh, well, I agree with everything that you said. Um, I've got to uh, look at it on paper. Okay. And talk to my wife and just see if it's, if it's really what, I do, if it, if it's really what we want to do. We've been talking about it for the last couple of days because I've been going through the process right. with you folks. Yeah. And we're not in a rush to get out of here. We built this house, had it had it built for our forever home. Sure. Yeah. And I guess what it was was I was seeing the the bubble fixing to pop. <laughs> so I was trying to get out of it at the top of the market and sit for a couple of years, you know, somewhere cheap rent and then come in with my cash and buy our last forever home. Right. Right. That, that was our reasoning. So I, I, I think that's pretty good reasoning. Well, I do too, really. What, um, what's wifey, what's wifey going to say about, about that? Well, that's, that's the issue, isn't it? So here's the other option, because remember, I told you there's two options, right? Right. And by the way, that was just an example. You know, we could renegotiate or we can negotiate terms, you know, until we are both truly happy. I was just throwing out a number, you know, that seemed to work on the surface. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's option number one. Option number two is, you know, I could I could put the house on the market. Uh, as a flat, you know, flat fee MLS, uh, we call it, where we can put the house on the market and I can represent you, you know, as an unlicensed agent. Because the thing is, is you don't need a real estate agent to sell you sell your house. You know that, right? No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, you don't need a real estate agent to put you on the market is what I meant to say. Um, right. You can right. you can go pay a couple hundred bucks. It's called the flat fee MLS and uh, list your house on the market, just like a real estate agent would do. And, you know, truthfully, where the reason why people normally don't do that is because then it's going to be up to you to field all of those inherent phone calls from the buyer's agents that want to place an offer on your house. So that's, that's why normally you hire a real estate agent to, um, you know, have your back and negotiate top dollar on your behalf. But the right point is, is you don't need it. You know, you could do it yourself if you want to answer the phone and talk to the agents. Sure. You're yeah, going to, I don't, don't want to do that either. Well, I'll do it. That's what I'm saying. I'll do it. I, I'm not going to work for free. You know, you're not going to pay 6% um, like you would normally, but I'm not going to work for free. Obviously you got to make something, but it's not going to be anywhere near, you know, what you would normally pay on the open market is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay. You know, now, um, I'm leaning toward the first deal. I let, me, let me let me repeat it back to you so that I understand what you're saying is what I'm hearing. Sure. Okay. You're gonna buy the house for 285. I'm gonna stick it in the bank. We're gonna draw a little interest. We're gonna rent a place for a couple of years. 
and then we're going to, once the thing crashes and burns, we're going to take the 285 and go buy up another house. Yeah, so the 285, you're not sticking in the bank. The 285, you're holding. You're the bank. You are the bank. So, you know, when you go buy a house and get a mortgage, you put a down payment and then the, you make payments to the bank. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'll buy the house for 285 and you will basically hold, uh, hold a note and mortgage for 285 getting a monthly payment of 1530 per month, uh, which includes 5% interest, by the way. And I'm going to put this all in writing and send it over to you so you can kind of uh, review it with your wife. And I can even walk you through it once if she's on, you know, anywhere near, she can hop on the line. I can kind of talk you through both of it. Uh, but the, the point is, is the 285 is held by you. You're, uh, you're basically, you're the bank. You're, you're, uh, you're giving me a mortgage of $285,000. And in, in repayment, I'm paying you $1,530 a month, which is inclusive of 5% interest. So it's principal and interest of 5%, which would include, uh, you know, equate to $1,530 a month. Does that make sense? Right, I'm, man, well, am I paying the taxes and the insurance? No, I am. It's my house. The house is going to be deeded over to me. So it's the same exact thing as if I were to buy it with cash. Um, the difference is, is that, uh, you know, I'm paying 285 because I can get $2,500 a month in rent. And well, I'll tell you what now, you be sure to, to cover your uh, T's and dot your I's because Tifton is a, it's a funky little rental market, brother. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have a lot of, uh, high-end income people here but 75 percent of the other people work at the textile mill uh oh so that's the kind of town that it is and i'm not saying you can't get it but i might need to double check it's it's, it's it's going to be it's going to have to be the right person sure See, my, point, my, my point is this if you think you're going to rent it to a doctor why wouldn't they why wouldn't they buy their own sure uh, you know, maybe because they think the same as you, that there's a big market correction coming and they don't want to, uh, you know, get tied down. Or maybe, uh, you know, maybe a lot of doctors are travel doctors, right? Maybe they're only in town for a couple of years or something like that. Who knows, you know? Yeah, who knows? There's I'm lots of... To... Go ahead. I say that because I don't, you know, I want you to understand the situation here. This is not Atlanta. Right. No, I understand. Don't worry. I'll do my due diligence and make sure before... Before we get to the closing table, I will absolutely make sure that I can get, you know, over, you know, 2000, whatever it is per month. And, and I don't need to get 2500. I just need to make a few hundred bucks a month positive cash flow. That's all I'm looking for. Right. So right. as long as I'm collecting more than my obligation to you, does that make sense? Yeah. So you sell the house to me for 285. And I'm making payments to you for a couple of years of $1,530. And then when you tell me, hey, Scott, I'm ready to buy a house, that's when I refinance your property. The, oh, I guess it would be my property at that point in Tifton. And uh, you would get paid out. You would be in first position. So, of course, you'd be right. paid out first. You know what I mean? Right. I understand that. And then you wouldn't have that... Uh, that uh you know tax obligation either the capital gains taxes you know you'll spread across couple very you know a couple of years uh of course once once it you know balloons out you'll you'll pay the rest but you know uh if you own a, a property free and clear and you've completely depreciated it um you know you're gonna have a, a pretty hefty tax obligation there if you sell it for cash you know yeah well i would say uh write this down this is my email c dog morrison at yahoo.com Okay. Uh, S E A D O G Morrison, my last name. Mm -hmm. I got it. Give me your proposal. Okay. And uh, what's it, tomorrow's Friday? Yeah, call me tomorrow, man. What time? It don't matter, man. I'm sitting at the house. I'm fixing to go in for surgery. What, what What's going on? A minor, I hope? No, no, it's just a hernia. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Those well, hurt. My, grand, my, my grandfather's got a history of them, and I, I ended up getting them too. <laughs> oh, shit. I uh, yeah. hope it yeah. goes okay, man. Hope... Yeah, me too, man. What day is uh, it? I'm not, listen, I'm not against uh, what, you, what you said. Um, 
we just I just got to talk with her and uh, make sure that this is really what we need to be doing right now. Is your wife uh, is your is your wife home too? She'll, will she be around tomorrow when I call back? I'd love to have an opportunity to speak with her too. Yeah, she's yeah. What, that's possible. What's her name? I'll make a quick note here. Robin, like Rob, the bird. Robin, like the bird. Okay. Robin yeah, and Mark. <laughs> All right, Mark. Hey, listen, man, I really appreciate you. Uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity. Thanks for seeking us out online. My name is Scott Behrens. Uh, I'm the owner of the company Balsamo Home Investments. And right. uh, I will be in touch with you tomorrow to speak with you and your lovely wife, Robin. Hopefully we can right. make a deal. Okay. Scott, where are you where are you located, man? I'm in Southern California, but I do deals nationwide. And uh, I own about 50 rental properties across the nation. Uh, I own two or in Atlanta and I really like the market I mean it's a, it's a hot you know Georgia is a great great market to uh, to, to you know work on properties fix and flip rental properties so that's why I was right, excited we're, uh, we're 200 miles south of Atlanta right and we're and we're one hour from the Florida state line we're on I-75 okay exit exit 60 okay that's that we're, I'm not I'm not a half a mile from the interstate oh wow you're right well, there. But, but what they did is they came in here and they bought uh, Old Man Moon's farm mm. and they put this high end neighborhood in here. Yeah, I see that. It looks like it's a and, really. Go ahead. Well, and we were, we saw the opportunity of it years ago in 07. So we were the second, we were, we were the second home built. What did you buy the house for back then? Uh, I would just keep that to myself. Yeah, I was going to say because it was 2007, right before the crash, right? So, ooh. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So, anyways, well, uh, send it to me. We'll yeah. talk about it and we'll move forward tomorrow. We'll stop. All right, man. I'll call you tomorrow to talk to you and Robin. Okay. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, brother. Talk to you later. Right. See you. Bye. Dude, that is a great call. I'd like to talk more about it, but RJ is actually live on the other line. RJ, if you want to unmute. I didn't know we could do that. I think you got to call back. Oh shit, that's dope. RJ, RJ you're muted, brother. Count, we can't hear you. Can you hear me okay now? Yep. I hear you fine. Okay, good. Sorry, I need to do some math over here. So if I sold this for 525. It's going to cost me 535, probably 40,000. So I'm netting somewhere in the range of 475. But then I'm going to have to hold it. Did your realtor give you any indication on what the the days on market would be if you were to list it in that $500,000 range? Did they tell you that? He may have, I don't it doesn't uh, stick with me as far as being a high point for the conversation. I got you. Okay. Um, Let me look at something real quick. See if I can find something that gives you a, gives me an indication here, real quick. I mean, there's another property that uh, over on the on the lake property that's I think about comparable as far as size, and they're wanting six ninety nine. Gotcha. Is that listed or, or still not listed? You just. No, it's, it's listed. It's here in Darling County. Okay. I'm Lake Hamilton. I'm a mile, I'm a mile from either Lake Washita or Lake Hamilton. So if you got a boat, you can park it here at home. Within, you know, within 10 minutes, you could be at either boat landing. Well, I'm all about the boat life. My office is on a boat. Uh, on a boat on a lake so i'm all about that life so that excites me well, it's you know so you're away from the lake in the evenings and i have to deal with that kind of thing um the competition of noise and all that but it's also it's a it's in the county and the location of it is out of the way, okay. It's, it's very unique in the fact that you feel like you're 40 miles out of town and you're only 10 minutes from Walmart. Right. Um, which is going to be a pain in my ass because we go to Walmart every other day. <laughs> but but uh, uh, you know, I, about five years ago, it started about five or six years ago. I've only been here three years. About five years ago, I used to live. Uh, 
about 30 miles, about in the same direction, and is just about as far out. And uh, my mom and dad got sick, and that's how we ended up with this place. We inherited it. I see. And um, so, and I, I've always tried to get my dad to move out by us to enjoy country life, and he said, "Why? I got it right here, and I'm only 10 minutes from Walmart." <laughs> Right. That sounds like my grandmother. She's the same way. I tried to get her to move up here to, to Fort Worth and she was the exact same response. I got everything I need. I need my I got my church five minutes away. I got Walmart ten minutes away and no one bothers me. So why would I want to come to the city? All right. That's right. So all right. So here here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking for me to just make a straight cash offer to you, I would want to be around four hundred thousand. So, and then we can make that, I would probably need at least 30 days to close, partially due to the, the time frame it's taking title um, for us to get everything done. But 30 days is what I could write the contract up for the closing date, 400000 there's no realtor commissions, I'll pay the closing costs. So the only thing that you're going to pay is off the underlying mortgage and then the prorated taxes. Well, um, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I like the idea. I just want to think about it and make sure I'm making a, a solid. So this is going to be this is for keeps, you know. And uh, I respect your offer. It's not. It's not a. It's not a, a bad offer. Right. The the problem that I run into is. And I don't want to put pressure on you because I I'm, I don't do high pressure. You know, I it just well, you're not. You're not. I understand yeah, that's that's not what I want to do. My situation is is that I've got you know twenty other phone calls to place here, and and if the next phone call I place, that guy says, "Yeah, I'll take your four hundred thousand." That puts me in a position where I have to really start thinking about the previous offers that I made and whether or not those still, you know, are valid, you know. And so I, I've only got so much bandwidth as as a company, both fiscally and, and you know, what we're doing with the, the property itself. I, I'm asking you, I respectfully ask you for 24 hours so I can talk to my wife. And... Um, there. Okay. I respectfully will grant you that because I, I don't want to high pressure sales you in any sort sort of way. So you've okay. got you've got my phone number and uh, just give me a call back and let me know if you agree to that offer. Okay. I will. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that's not a bad filler there, but RJ, now you've got to make your dial, man. How was that a callback right there? That was a callback. Um, that, <laughs> whoo! I don't know what happened on Scotty's end because I saw comments coming, and I think Scotty was making a similar offer to what I was making. I made that guy a novation agreement offer. I made that guy a sub two offer, and he said, "I don't like moving parts, RJ. Just make it simple. Even if you got to offer me less, just make me cash." So he basically has a realtor that said, I'll sell your house for 525. But he's like, I don't want to deal with any of that. So I want 425 right now. So I looked, I made him the offer at 400. Um, listen, he, he told me up front, you know, that he, he wanted to make a decision, but he wasn't really ma willing to make a decision super fast. So I kind of saw that coming. Scotty, mm -hmm. how did your call end up? I didn't hear anything there after about halfway. It was all right. I think, uh, I think, you know, for the sake of the audience watching, uh, that, you know, you pushed pretty hard. Yeah. I think it was good. Uh, I don't good know. Follow if it's though. A, yeah. It's, it's going to be, if it's a deal to seller finance deal, hopefully a zero down seller finance, uh, and in a good part of the country, um, uh, but I don't know about rental comparables. My assistant was listening in and sent me a message saying no way 2500 a month rental so i think he was running the comps and i don't know i'm gonna have to look at it a little further 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, it went okay. He was a nice guy, right. you know. Well, cool. So then we both made creative finance offers, yeah. and and they both were like, "Hey, call us back." So yeah, very good. Um, yeah. So mine was a callback, so it's technically my dial. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. It's going to be your dial. But before we do that, I just want to show everybody where it is that we are getting these leads from. So this is going to be the platform ispeedtolead.com. The sign-up link is down below, right? Go there. It's going to give RJ some commission too. So right, if you like him, right, just put some money in his pocket. Now as you go through here, look at this. Look at this. Leads everywhere. Right? You know those advertisements that say there's hot single women in your area, but like we all know they're too good to be true? Imagine instead of hot single women, it's leads and it's not too good to be true. They're here. They're generated for you already, right? Look at this. This guy in Winchester, Tennessee. If you live in Winchester, Tennessee right now, we've got Barbara. She's moving closer to family. She's relocating. She owns the property. She's up to date on her mortgage. It's not listed and she wants an offer on her home. You can go in and negotiate any type of deal on this, right? Oh, or if you're from Naugatuck, Connecticut, man, that's a name, right? Look at, it's vacant, non-occupied, he's relocating. This is in fair condition, the bathrooms need work, paint, plumbing, right? This is a house that you can flip, right? Two and a half bath, three bedroom, 1994, two to 3,000 square feet in Connecticut? This is an expensive market. So this is what the site is. You can see all this excellent data. You can come up here. You can search in any market that you want to, right? And if you're a realtor, we just launched the beta for our listing leads. These are people who want to list with the realtor, right? So this is in the beta, um, and this will be uh, this will be growing pretty significantly as time goes on. But this is the platform, guys. Make sure to sign up using the link below, right? And what's the benefit? Maria has a great question. What's the benefit of doing the fifty dollars a month? So if you didn't have the fifty dollars a month you would not see all this data on the right. You wouldn't see the three bed, the one bathroom, the year of construction, the square footage of the ranch. And then also you're going to get um, on, on all the new ones too. You get zip code um, amongst other things. So it just gives you extra data and we're gonna keep adding to that as well, right? So pretty much these are for people who just wanna make sure they are making the most accurate choices. Facebook, is this a new platform I need for speed? Speed to lead, baby, speed to lead. It's in the title. They're pretty sweet. That's us, right? It's the greatest lead platform in existence. Anyways, RJ, if you want to get to your dial, I'll just keep kind of scrolling here until you get the, until you get that done, so that people can see what we got going on. Look at that. We've got CRM integrations, so you can webhook straight to your CRM, right? Then you can come in in your leads and look at this. We got a little built-in CRM for you too. Hey, Maxwell, this is RJ Bates. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I was calling about uh, 1212 Madison. You had uh, entered it on my website saying you're looking to sell that. Are you still looking to sell? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, what's your asking price on that? Um, I got locked up at 140 which I believe is a little bit high. And I'm looking for somewhere around 145 um, But I'm flexible because, <laughs> like I said, I, I do believe I locked it up a little high. Gotcha. So you're a wholesaler, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, have you ever heard of me before? Absolutely. No, I'm, uh, I, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, reach out. I've definitely been watching your videos for a while. You're on a video right now. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, there's only there's only 150 people watching it. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't don't screw up, okay? <laughs> just just kidding, man. All right. What's the what's the is it occupied or vacant? There's a lot of these properties that have been grandfathered in as single families, but this one has been rented as a duplex for 10 plus years. Okay. It's had tenants in it for, I'm going to say, um, the past, the same tenants for the past six. And how much are they paying? Let me pull that up here. That is going to be. 650 downstairs and 550 upstairs, which I think is a bit below market rents. Right. That and that's going to be the the hard part of trying to dispo this as well as those rent rates. 
Uh, does it need any repairs done to it? Or, I mean, is it, I mean, they're good and they, they obviously have been there for a while. So they, they want to stay, correct? Um, yes, they are. They want to stay. Um, leases are month to month. Okay. Um, the seller is an older gentleman. Um, he just turned 80. So he, uh, he does things real old school. Okay. Um, so it's in condition, but it could use, um, it could use a facelift. Okay. Um, but, but nothing structural at all. All right. Uh, say approximately 15 to 20 hours a square foot. Um, that might even be a little bit high. Okay. They're going to be. What do you, what do you have an ARV on this as? Because it's a, it's a duplex, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was the, the difficult part, finding comps in the areas. There's a lot of these units that are zoned single family, but fully rented as a duplex. Right. Let me see what I had popped up in here. Do you have pictures? I do on the exterior. We get interior pictures tomorrow morning. All right. Comps I was using, that was 1216. There was one, um, just look online, that sold across the street for 195. Um, yeah. Fully rented, but that is a true single family. Right. <laughs> so I mean I was realistically um, going off that one and there was a few more down the street going with an ARV of around 195 to 200 but like I said I, I gotta believe that's a bit skewed so how did you land on 140 with the seller he started at 150 um, and I just I kept going for a few days trying to get him down trying to get him down and yeah, the lowest I can get up to was 140. Okay. Are you? I would have been a better deal around 120. Yeah, I agree. Um, are you familiar with Investor Lift? I am not. No. All right. So it's the platform that I use for for dispositions. Um, it it basically is built by the users, and so it's basically a platform where you share buyers list. Okay, and so. I'm at the, the highest level that you can be at. And so that gives me skip trace data on 3.7 million buyers. And so I'm just looking here um, at my buyers list in this specific area. Let me see how many buyers we have. That gives me 1,700 buyers in that area. The, the best thing that I could probably do for you is, is if you want, we could JV the deal. I could send it out to those buyers, get feedback from them pretty quickly. And then we're going to know if we're able to move it or if we're not, especially once you get those interior picks tomorrow. Um, you know, because through this system, I can immediately send out text messages, emails, put it on the website. I can decide which buyers see it, which ones don't. And then I'll, I'll put one of my dispositions guys on it and start calling the, the VIP buyers, which are the known cash buyers in that area. So I could do that for you and we could try to move it quickly. Uh, that way you're not spending your time trying to mine for buyers and dispo something yourself. And then we'll also get feedback on whether or not it can be moved at this price. Absolutely. I'd, uh, I'd be very interested in that. If this is, I would consider the child child contract. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, that, that won't be the case. Honestly, I'm looking at it and I, I, there have been a couple of duplexes that have been bought by cash buyers at pretty close price. It's just going to come down to that condition on the interior because the tenants have been there for so long. But again, that's the good thing about this is, is we can put it out there. We can have conversations with the buyers and understand where they are. And then we can even go back to the seller and just explain, listen, no investor is going to be willing to buy this. Uh, because we know all of the investors. That's the benefit of being on this. So we can say, listen, we've, we've put this out in front of all of them. This is where they, they say they need to be. And so I don't know what what unicorn you're going to be searching for, but we, we have the answers for you. So 
if we even need to jump in and have that conversation, that wouldn't be a problem either. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very open to that. I'd love to see what we can work out. Okay. Your- oh. Let's do this. Um, go ahead and email me over all the information that you currently have. So send me the, the exterior pictures that you have. Um, send me over the, the signed contract that you have. And what I'll do is, is I'll send over a joint venture agreement. And that way we can get that signed. That gives me the rights to be able to do the marketing for you. And uh, then tomorrow, once you get the exterior pictures, we'll be able to throw it on the site and we'll get this going. That sounds perfect. Okay. I'll definitely send you an email with all the information I got in there. I know I have a sheet somewhere in my uh, my Google documents with a bit more correct comps. and some. I got you. Don't worry about the comps because we've got that. I just need the information that you've got. So really just the pictures and the signed contract, and then I'll get you over that JV agreement. And just email it over to rj at titaniumprops, P-R-O-P-S dot com. rj at titaniumprops. Yes, sir. Dot com. Awesome. I will do that right after we get off the line here. All right. Thank you, Maxwell. Appreciate you, bud. Day. You too. All right. You too, buddy. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. That right there was RJ converting off of a wholesaler that submitted his information, which, by the way, you can get a refund for on the platform. RJ can convert on this deal and go get a refund right on Speed Lead. Well, and, and to, to your point, Liam, there's not really a, a reason to complain about that too much. Um, because why are they going, why are they clicking on a Facebook ad and submitting it? Because they need help moving the deal. And why are you buying the deal? Because you probably either want to buy there or you want to wholesale there and you feel confident that you could do it. So as, as investors, our job is to solve people's problems. All I'm doing is solving his problem. So, all right, Scotty, you're up, man. Run it, Scotty. Let's hear it, baby. All righty. Man, guys, I'm just, I'm feeling this chat getting a little dead. I know, I know RJ has until five. We can always call it early too, unless you guys want to. I don't know. Get, get chatting a little bit out there. We got 130 people across all our platforms right now. Leave your message for 812-454-71190. Hey, Danielle, this is Scott Behrens with CashOfferOption.com. You were on our website recently looking to get a cash offer for your property in Evansville. Please give me a call back at your convenience. My number direct 310-850-5958. Again, this is Scott Behrens about a cash offer on your property in Evansville, 310-850-5958. Five nine five eight. Thanks, Daniel. Scotty, didn't people. you do didn't you do FaceTime the last time? I did. That first that moment. was probably one of the most epic moments of any of the closer shows. When you did the FaceTime and you were like turning around and showing <laughs> that, that, was that was cool. I remember it. So savage. Yeah. RJ, try and FaceTime them through your uh handheld. It's gonna scare him away. That beard. <laughs> you seen the axes behind him? I don't. I yeah. don't know if I want this guy. You know. Check know out my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Scotty's the type of guy to have a katana, though. You know. Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Creepy hard. It's not available. At the tone, please. I knew I wanted to talk to this guy. Recording. You may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. CP, this is RJ <laughs> calling you about your property there in Greenville. Give me a call back 817 710 8689. I want to make you cash offer. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are a match made in heaven. I know. I just like you too. Well. I CP. hope CP calls me back so bad. Oh, man. Dad, that'll be a deal. I mean, dude, 
if anything is going to be a deal, it'll be that one. But speaking of deals, dude, get get dialing Scott. You got like I don't know, probably thirty minutes to get one locked up. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to find one. All right. I'm just gonna just pick a random ass lead then. Just uh, pick a random ass lead, bro. That's what I'm doing. Let's go with the. Dude, there's a duplex in California. Where? Don't tell it's, him. Uh, Twelve. Kenneth Crow. Let's go, baby. Listen, I just want y'all to know when he locks this up, it's because I told him to call on it. Okay. So I get <laughs> right. bonus points for telling him to call on this one. Oh, Big Ken. dude, you knew his phone was off, bro. That's your that's the guy <laughs> who thought he was gonna win. You told him to turn off his phone, you just programmed the dialer back there. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Kenny, Scott here with Cash Offer Option. What's going on, man? I saw you were on our website looking for a cash offer on 216 First Street in Hollister. Give me a call back, man. I'm very interested. I actually went to college in Santa Cruz, so I'm very familiar with the area, and I want to talk to you. Give me a call back. My number direct, 310-850-5958. And again, this is Scott with CashOfferOption.com, 310-850-5958. Thanks, Kenneth. Go ahead. You took some inspiration from Mr. RJ. Uh, James Vance. James Vance. Vance Refrigeration. You guys haven't seen The Office? RJ didn't get it. He looks like dead in the eyes when I said that. <laughs> Hey, is James there? Hey, James, this is RJ Bates calling you about 78 Robinette. Are you still looking to sell that property? Yes, but uh, we're not selling it probably next spring. Okay. Uh, so like a year from now? What's that? So like a year from now? Yes, possibly. Right, right, right. Exactly. Well... I can sign a contract today and just put a closing date 12 months from now. I've never done that before, but I'm down to do new things. Uh, well, the problem is we're building a home in Florida, and we have no idea when that's going to be done. Okay. And, uh, I mean, once they get, yeah, we're going to hopefully find out in a few months what's going on uh, from them because we got to go down to Florida and uh, pick out all our stuff here at the design center and all that stuff, and just so they'll have a better idea on how it's done because they're still waiting for permits. I see. Well, just out of curiosity, how much would you want for your house on Robinette? I know, right. Uh, today's price would be probably $1.1 million. $1.1 All right. Well, let's see if there's uh, something uh, for me. Old, at the bottom of my street, uh, a little two weeks ago, almost half the size of my house, sold for eight sixty six, And my house is like double the size of it. It's a seven-pack garage in a pool. I see. All and right. the house. Well, you've got my phone number, and whenever you figure out what you're doing, why don't you get, why don't you give me a call back, and uh, I'll make you an offer, okay? Sure. Uh, okay, I guess your number. I'm Yeah, your number didn't come up on it. Okay, it's uh eight one seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll text it to you here shortly, okay? All right. Thank you, James. Bye-bye. So All right, bye-bye. I tried to make that as quick as possible, Scotty. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll start doing the same. That was, Gene uh, has given me the, uh, the go-ahead, guys. Pretty soon here, I'm going to be giving you guys some real private stock leads. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Gene's private stock no motherfucker. leads, motherfucker. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the intro. Come on, Martha. Let's go. Marty. Marty. It's not available. I'm double dialing. Do it. <sighs> Sorry.
someone watching said, let me get the private stash. <laughs> Not available. Hi, Marty. This is Scott with CashOfferOption.com. You were on our website recently about a cash offer for your home in Bozeman. Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. My number direct is 310-850-5958. Again, this is Scott with Cash Offer Option uh, responding to an inquiry that you made on our website. Number direct 310-850-5958. Thanks, Marty. Go ahead. Hey, someone asked where the hell we're getting these leads. It's speedtolead.com, guys. Well, why don't we just give them a little product demo, guys? I'm calling my first private stock. You got a private stock? You got one, yeah, too. You got one. All right, all right. He's labeling them for us. Okay, word. Gang, you guys look here. Hey, is Marvin there? Marvin? Yeah. Hey, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on White Street. Um, you had entered it on our website. Are you still looking to sell that property? I can't hear you. I got COVID-19. I don't feel too good. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, I just, you had entered your property on our website saying you wanted to sell it. Are you still looking to sell? I'm getting the information more than do. I'm, my plan is to go right Yeah. Okay, did you have an asking price? Do what, sir? Did you have a price in mind? Did I have a price in mind? Yes, sir. Yeah, 140000 Okay, 140000 Give me two seconds. Is the property vacant or is it occupied? No, it was me and my wife are living it right now. But we're fixing to move in for my son because my wife only has six months to a year to live on account of cancer. And I'm not in the best of health myself, so my son insists that we move in with them over over in time. They got a great big house. Well, I'm glad that uh, you know, you guys are gonna be able to move somewhere uh, where you can be with family. Um What's the condition like of the property? Pardon? What's the condition like? Well, I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah, actually, I've, I've uh, did a lot of work. I got a brand new privacy fence up that was put in in uh, January. Uh, it, the yard's been taken care of. I do have one dead tree that I wasn't aware of until the other day. Uh, got a quite a bit of, I'd say, I don't know, I'd, if I'd guess, I think it's a half an acre or maybe a little less, I'm not sure. But, uh, well, I had uh, the roof repaired about four years ago, cost me $2,600. Had a new air conditioner put on it, put in, that still got seven year warranty on it. Uh, got out of that, we, we Maintain it to bed for good. Okay. Um, are you ne are you negotiable on the price? I don't know because I know what uh, what the current listing price is. I see. That's why I said what I did. My son wants to hundred for me to get one hundred forty five thousand for it, but I don't think I can. But I will not. I've lived here going on nine years, and I've never missed a house payment yet. Right. So, uh, yeah, uh, no, I could be negotiable, but uh, it has to be pretty expensive. Okay. 
Yeah, I I just I don't think I'm going to be able to get very close to the to 140 thousand. To be honest with you, I, I think I'm going to be. I didn't hear you, sir. I I think I'm going to be closer to a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Yes, sir. Hell, I owe ninety on it. I've lived here nine years. You're out of your mind. Uh, you're not the first person to tell me that. My equity's a lot higher than that. I owe ninety thousand on it still. Well, I apologize. I I just what I'm looking at. Forget about it. I ain't taking no hundred thousand. You're out of your tree, buddy. Well, I understand that. I'm just looking at. I. All right. Have a good night. All right. He's got equity bigger than that, dude. He's got equity bigger. Well, I mean, I do see houses around there that are not fixed up selling for, I saw 119, 105, 130, 170. So there is one at 170. Right. But yeah, that, that's good. I mean, 100, 105, 110, you could probably wholesale it for 125, 130, somewhere in that range. But I also see, you know, there's one remodeled that's all it's listed for 230. But I mean, they did everything to it. I mean, so it's going to be 50, 60 grand to get it to that level. So that's tough. Right. And it's, it's listed. Tough. So we don't know. We don't know what it'll sell for. Can sell for more, can sell for less, could not sell. Right. All right. Uh, Scotty okay. V, baby. Let's see what you got, man. I've only talked to one person that actually gave me the time of day. Let's go. Get another one. 203, 232. What's up, Maxwell? I saw Maxwell join. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Maxwell's a G. Someone needs a mute. It's Gene. Right now, leave me a message. I'll get back. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, filled stop. out the site. I mean, he filled out the site like super recently. Okay. Vacant needs work. This is a solid lead. That's what I'm saying, man. Come on, Mark. Oh, actually, wait. That's the street name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mark Street. <laughs> Mark? Oh, that's your street. Triple dial that lead. I agree. I can't come to the phone right now. Leave me a message. I'll get back to you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Rob. Scott Barron's here with Cash Offer Option. I believe you were on our website uh, recently looking for a cash offer for 14 Mark Street in Nugatuck, Kentucky. So uh, give me a call back, man. I want to talk to you. I'm very interested in the house. Uh, taking a look at it right now. Just had a couple questions for you. My number direct, 310-850-5958. And again, this is Scott. Cash offer for your property on 14 Mark Street at 310-850-5958. Thanks, Rob. Talk to you soon. My phone's going to be blowing up with callbacks after hours. Oh, right, yeah. Dude, yeah, you're going to have them later. I was about to say Gene was about, you know, the, the coolest Russian slideshow ever in the uh, minute and a half he was here. It looks like he's trying to get back in right now. What a beast he is. Oh, is, he, is he not a slideshow? Gene, what's up, man? What's going on, guys? Hey. <laughs> you made it in, dude. RJ, getting the dials in, man. And everybody, I want to make sure you guys know that if you want to know where these leads are coming from, they're coming from ispeedtolead.com. Sign up using the link below. Also, if you guys... If you guys got a group of people around you, sign up for an affiliate. It's easy. You literally just put in what you want your affiliate to be. You put in your PayPal email, and then you just send the link to everybody. You get 11% of everything that they buy. That adds up. Go ahead, Scotty. I got a fax machine. Is there uh, another private stock lead, or did you just go back on the list? No, I just went go back, back on the list. We'll give you guys one more private stock lead each. Okay, right on. So those are fresh, fresh. 
And then everybody too, we're having RJ in the training community next Wednesday, right? Click that link there. It's going to take you over for the training community. It's called One Club. It's the greatest thing alive. You guys can come hang out. We do two trainings every single day, morning meeting, and then especially training in the afternoon. RJ will be in there next week, giving you guys a uh, solid training on everything regarding wholesaling. People pay big money for that. All right, Dylan. Let's hear it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. <sighs> five, one, six, three, five, six, seven, four, zero, nine. Go on one more time. Do it one more time. Space time. Yeah, I guess I should. Guess try, I should dude. Try. Might as well. I will. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, because they're there. They're 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 just not big enough. Yeah, they they just denied that call right there. They did <laughs> straight up. The bitch uh, it's not letting me FaceTime because he's not an iPhone. I can try this though. It's probably a Nokia. Yeah, uh, Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not letting me. It's trying to get me to Skype him, but I have to log in. So, F that. That's funny. All right. All you, bro. Someone reported my live TikTok for harassment. Can't get anybody on the phone. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight six four three eight nine three two six zero is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Sandy, this is RJ Bates calling you about Old Gold Mine Road. Um, you had entered it on our website saying you were looking to sell that property. Give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. All right, bro, go ahead. I'm going to load up some uh, some more. Let's see. Should I wait for a private stock? No. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. Wait for a private stock because we don't have that much time left. Here, yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop this down. one. This one, this guy literally just put it in like seconds ago. There you go. Well, then we, we, he's probably still on the website then. Probably. That's the Read best kind of leads. All right. Where is it? Going to upload it right now. I'm just copying and pasting it. And this one, okay. roof needs replacement. Bathrooms need work. Paint inside. Electrical, plumbing, flooring, kitchen cabinets, appliances, paint outside, air conditioning, right? He is, there's no mortgage. He owns the property. It's in Texas. What's the phone number? <laughs> that might be a wholesaler, but hey, let's see it anyway. Yeah, it might be a wholesaler. <laughs> hey, bro, if this is in the right part of Texas, you're wholesaling it to me, okay? <laughs> All right. I have five right. contracts. Give him a call. It's at right the very now. bottom. And then, RJ, I'm loading up another private stock for you. What, you don't know anybody in Texas? I will well, of course you don't. Your mom doesn't live in Texas. That's right. I told you I don't have any friends, bro. <laughs> you, Nobody. You do. You talk so much shit in my Instagram DMs. We became friends, okay? <laughs> uh, you don't even follow me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Calling him out, fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll go follow you real Come quick. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go to your lead. I, he won't upload it. Down lead okay. in my state. Okay? I, uploaded, I told you I uploaded it too. I said it's Tex in there for Arcana. you. Uh, fuck is Tex Arcana. God bless you. Isn't Yo, Tex who's Arcana. friends with who's Tex friends Arcana. with Arfon? Tex Arcana, okay. <laughs> this this guy Arfon, we either need to send him some money or block. He's owned him it for zero to one years. He's probably a wholesaler. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Out. I mean, with a name like Keith Williams, for sure, a wholesaler. <laughs> this guy's not to be trusted. Hi, Keith. 
Yeah. What's up, man? This is Scott. How's it going? Doing good, Scott. What's up? Uh, you were just on our website for 109 Waterman. Yeah, I thought you might be that person, but I had to wait and see. Oh, okay. What what gave you that idea? I get too many spam calls. All right. Well, I mean, you reached out to us. You know, I wanted to get in touch and uh, wanted to be quick. Sure. And sure. see no, if we... I, I just get a lot of spam calls, so I, I you know, I picked up because uh, I, I was expecting your call. Oh, I'm good. Letting you know that that, that uh, uh, I, I have to watch what's going on because I get like hundreds of spam calls. Oh, I'm sure. Me too. I don't know. Someone put me on some, you know, uh, opposite of do not call registry because my phone blows up daily. Do you have that? That's you got that filter that says uh, spam likely that shows up. Oh yeah, absolutely. And this one didn't, so I answered good. Okay, it good. Spam, I don't answer. So, so what's up, man? How long have you owned the property for? I've owned it about a year. Uh, I sold a house on the lake, and I bought this place. Okay. And it needed some work, and I knew it. You know, I knew it needed a lot of work. The house is really solid. It was built, you know, a long time ago, and so the walls are sheathed in one by six, inside and outside. Mm. I mean, it's tons of wood in this house. Oh wow. What was your original plan with it? To live here. Oh, okay. Are you living there or no? I, I, I'm living here now. I'm still thinking about it. I uh, tore the kitchen out and I put, you know, I was planning to put it back. They had built the cabinets where they were like about maybe 11 or 12 inches from the bottom of the cabinet to the countertop. Mm -hmm. you, and where they had a, they had like a, a place where you could sit but you couldn't see the other person on the other side because the cabinets were so low. Oh, wow. So you got to make it like a open concept type deal, right? So I just took it all. I took it all. It was really old and, you know, it was kind of neat looking, but there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of uh, things in there that just didn't uh, really sit well with me. It had the hot water heater in the kitchen. I took that out and put it up in the attic. Oh, okay. And the reason for that is it, gives, it makes the kitchen a little bit bigger. It also lets you know it's hot water, so in the summer it's going to heat the heater up uh, enough to make a little difference in the having to put electricity to heat the water. Okay. And I'm replumbing it right now with PEX. Okay. So you're and doing a lot of the work yourself then? Oh yeah, I've been doing a lot of the work. That's why I put it in there three or four months because I'm still working on it. I'm I'm going to have a lot of this stuff done. Um, I tore the, I tore the, they had a garden, square garden tub in the bathroom mm -hmm. and it was cracked. It was fiberglass. So I tore that out. I'm rebuilding that. I was going to rebuild a shower in there. Not, not a tub shower, just a shower. Right. It's all I ever take. And you know, most people, that's what they do. Some people like tubs, but, but that's what I was planning at this point. And I bought all brand new windows for the house. I've got all the aluminum windows that's got to be put in, but they're here. Okay, what, uh, you know, I would think that you would probably want to complete the job before you start trying to furnish a buyer, but it sounds like you, you know, this morning, you know, wanted to see if you could find a buyer relatively quickly. So are you yeah, trying to. Not really quickly. No, I, I just want to put in there four or five months. Oh, you did? Yeah, I put on there when I clicked it. I put, I didn't say ASAP, I said four to five months. Got it. So you want to sell it once it's all turnkey? maybe depends on the offer but right now the prices have gone so crazy that i'm almost afraid to sell it because if i sell it where do i go i mean the prices are going so through the roof everywhere um uh, you know that it's i mean like i was i just uh, priced the insurance on it to get new insurance and reinsure my car and the house both mm -hmm. and they told me that the insurance value on it's one hundred fifty three thousand dollars. i said man i didn't pay you near that for it he said but that's what it'll cost to replace it uh, yeah, I mean, for new construction, $200 a square foot times 1,224 square feet. I mean, I, I'm i surprised it's only 150. How big is the house? 1,250, I think. Is it a two bed, one bath? Two bed, one bath. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're giving you replacement value, right? To build a new house. Um, well, that's what, there's, I, that's what I asked him. I said, so what you're telling me is if I get this house completely finished and uh it burnt to the ground and there was nothing but ashes on the ground i realized there's the value of the lot which is probably not that high mm -hmm. this used to be a really nice neighborhood it's not as nice as it used to be mm -hmm. um, that's where a lot of older neighborhoods are and i asked him i said so 
what you're telling me is you wouldn't insure it for less than 153,000. He says, no, we would not insure it for less than 153 because that's what it would cost to replace it. Right. And I said, oh, well, okay. So I'm planning to put the insurance on it like in the next day or so. And, and, you know, I'm read, I'm redoing my car. My, my, I got a uh, 250 diesel truck. Oh, nice. And that, and that came out about the same uh, price as the old insurance. And I was with State Farm. I was thinking about going with Allstate. And so it was just shock to me to hear that it would replace, that the replacement cost was that high. And then I started looking at all the different houses. So I'm, I'm not sure I want to do it, to be honest with you. I'm looking at it and going, well, if I sell this one, then I still got to find three and one and a half minutes. in the range of what I sell this one for. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at one right now that's on the market about a half a mile away from you. It's a three bed, one bath. It's a big, it's bigger, a little bit bigger. And it's on the market for 81 days uh, for 75,500. It's over at 1702 Roseboro Street. Did you see that one? I've looked at some of the houses around here and I know that some of them sell really cheap, but I've looked at them. Oh my God. I mean, mine's need work, but not like that. You know? Are you near a computer by any chance? I am. Can you Google 1702 Roseboro Street? Because this is actually pretty nice. Yeah, my, I guarantee you mine's not as nice as whatever you're pointing me to, but I'll look at it. Yeah, 1702 Roseboro. And um, it's right down the street from you. It's uh, it's on the market for almost three months uh, with no bites at 75.5. So I guess here's here's where I'm at. Uh, you know, I know, I know you, you probably bought this house as an investment to live in, put some sweat, sweat equity in it and then sell it and make a nice little profit. Um, that's what I was thinking at first. Yeah. I rented a place, paid a year's rent in advance down in East Springs. Would you say 17 oh what? 17 oh two Roseboro, R O S E B O R O. And you can see it on Zillow. There's nice pictures of it. Uh, it's got nice new flooring, it looks like, or maybe not new flooring, but it's clean. It's livable. You can move a family right in and it's being offered for 75. And I think, and you probably bought yours, what, for like 20, 25, something like that? Actually, I got even less than that. So what would I have to do? Where is my offer? I don't know, it, it, because I'm not ready to sell it for four or five months. And I'm, you know, I'm planning to work with this thing, just to be honest with you. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up. He's not a contract. I've been here too. I mean, I was in, my dad and I were in construction for a long time. I'm saying it's all right. Oh, wow. And then, uh, let's see right here. Yeah, you're talking about a beige looking house with a porch with brick. Yeah, exactly. That's the one. there. Yep. That brick looks like it's about to fall over. <laughs> the exterior is. It's leaning. It's mm -hmm. leaning. That brick is holding up the column up there on that front porch. But the inside does look good. I'm yeah. Like that. It's got the kitchen in and it's got the floors. In it. Yeah. And it's uh, it's been on for three months. It's 75K and hasn't sold. You know, it's a freaking hot market. I wonder why it hasn't sold. Well, I don't know. One minute. Here, hold on just a second. You got to realize one thing about the houses over here. What? That just looks sad that that brick is leaning like that. But I've got some similar problems that I'm working on that I will have fixed. So um, do your thing. this is what I want to do. Uh, this is what I want to do. Um, cause I, I am interested, but it doesn't, doesn't sound like you want to do anything for a few months anyway. Right. I don't, I just was checking it out to kind of see what, you know, what's going on. And, uh, see, I'm getting a spam call right now. I get a gazillion. Of those so, so you're telling me you don't have a number that you would walk away with from the project right now? Well, not yet because I'm not done with the four months. You know, I don't know how much I'm going to put into it yet, for sure. So if I gave you 100000 right now to walk away and let me finish the oh, project? Be gone okay, so this. so there is a number. So where do we well, need to no, be? But I mean, there's not one that, I mean, honestly, if I sell it in the condition it's in right now, I know I'm not, get, I'm not going to do well. What do we, well, you might. It's a hot market. It's been a year since you bought it. You you might. Well, so what if I could put 20000 additional in your pocket, whatever you paid for it, plus 20000 would you do that? probably would what did you pay for it man hit me with the number i think i can probably make that happen yeah, but but here's the problem see i did spend some money like i said i bought a lot of materials i bought the picks i bought the plumbing i bought the windows 
I've, you know, I've, I've bought a lot of stuff. Okay. And I did tear out some stuff, though. I tore so out what's the, the number, bro? And I didn't, you know, it, you'd never sell this to a woman. Right. Like <laughs> hey, maybe a woman flipper, right? Uh, but seriously. Maybe, ser maybe, but I mean, if a woman came in here and wanted to live here, she would have never bought it with that kitchen. I, I hear had, you, Keith. They had black and white tile on the floor, and they had taken contact paper, black and white check contact paper, and papered every shelf and every cabinet. You open the door, you got it. Wow. They painted the rooms in this house, like the room I've got my bedroom in right now. It's got beige on the bottom with a had a wainscot board going around the middle of the room, and the top half is pink. Mm. Wow. It's, it's, it needs paint. It needs paint. Yeah. It need it needs a it needs a full. Uh... All right, we gotta cut that one. We gotta cut that one. RJ, I got a private stock ready for you, bro. All right. That sucks for Scotty because that's a good lead. The, the guy is just a weird dude. <laughs> <laughs> How much? If you got forty-five so thousand, you do it right now. I do it right now. All right, I'll I'll send you a contract. Right now, uh, give me one second. Let me see. Uh, let me just make sure I can do that. One second. Sure. Forty-five thousand, right? Forty-five thousand. I'm gone. Forty-five thousand. What about what about forty? Can you do that? No. <laughs> All right. Let me let me just see. Give no, me one listen, second. No, listen seriously. They, when I got this place, the guy had not lived in it for nine years. Yeah. And he had let the yard go into a jungle. It's it's needing mowing right now, but we had to clear out a lot of stuff. I paid guys to clear. it. You know, to get that stuff out of there, I got to go out there and mow it. I've got a bunch of trash out in the backyard, but but I would actually get that out of here. Okay. I mean, well, I'll tell you what. I have to do that. I'll tell you what. You sell it to me for forty five. You split the closing cost with me, and you, pr you uh, provide a vacant house with no shit inside, so I can just get my crew in there and start and finish the job. And I think I can make that happen. Seriously, how fast do you need to close? I really wasn't planning to leave that fast, but like I said, for 45, I would. That gives you all the materials I bought, the pecs that's in there. I'll, I've got all the fittings for it to run all the plumbing with. I bought a, I bought a toilet. Oh God, that he's was, still uh, selling you on it. Fuck. But it's a, like a three or $400 toilet. It was, in a, it was like in a nursing home. Okay. It wasn't used long. It's a really beautiful toilet. I couldn't believe it. Hey, and have you used it at all? For everything. It's still no, no, I haven't put it in yet. Oh, There's wow. in there that I didn't like. That the guts of it were bad, and I thought, man, let's put a nice toilet in there. Okay. You know, I mean, it's going to take some work. I'm not kidding. I want, I want to do the work, man. You're talking to a guy that this is my job. You know, I get in there, I do the work, and I make a little money on the back end. You know, that's the only way I can provide I, for my family. I think, I think, without any doubt, if you put the work, if you put the money into the yard, he's not getting it signed right now, guys. RJ, make your call. That was that was unexpected. That was unexpected. You see, I had to bring up my referee. I wasn't sure. I mean, we'll have to do a quick review of that in the uh, in the scorecards. Just all wire him forty five. Shush. La la la. Uh, hold on, be quiet, dude. I'm all right. In... No way. Oh, baby. Wow. Try, try the other numbers that are on there. What is happening? The other numbers. It's weird. It's like four calls in a row that just haven't gone through. Huh. Okay. Scotty's still on the phone. Let's see. Bring up for the time being. I'll grab you another lead. Well, I was gonna say, why don't we start the 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 poll? You know what? Yeah, it's four forty-five. I don't think we're having anything super meaningful happening. One second. Because I I do have a hard stop. So. Yep. Uh, no, Kip, that was Elijah. That wasn't Justin. One by six on each side, plus any sheetrock you put on it. Okay. It's a lot of wood in here. All right. 
Uh, it's got a, it's in the hallway. No, I'm, so, I'm got okay. We got it. We got it. To... Scotty, we love you, but uh, how many times has this guy said this thing has a lot of wood in it? You got a lot of wood. You got a lot of wood. Yeah, he's gonna sign it in fucking ten years after he tells you a story about where he got his pen from. Fuck. <laughs> All right, everybody who's here. So, Gene and I, of course, we. Oh, this is the moment that counts right here. I'm putting together as we speak the poll. Okay, that is going to determine the live guests vote. Okay, so you guys, some of the moments are we're gonna be talking about our Scotty's call here, right now. We cannot. Ca we, we if Scotty got this thing signed. It, it, it would have been a done deal. Scotty would be the uh, Scotty would be the winner here, but but beyond that, it, it, we can't, right? The referee huddle, right? I brought it up, right? Bring it up again, right? You can see we did it official, right? We thought it out. Can't give him that. Hold on, hold on. I, I got a question on him. If he got this contract, you're saying he would have won? If you would have got a contract signed, man, that's above all else. Contracts I, are above all else. Did we forget the fact that I'm JVing a deal with someone? What is I that? Think it, getting a contract signed direct to buyer to me would be worth more. But he didn't. But he didn't. Dude, that that co converting a wholesale lead into a transaction. Gene. That's a, that's a big Gene, one. That's as a, a business one. owner, what do you care more about? Making money, that's, right? That's a big one. Listen, if we're, comparing, if, we're, if we're comparing contract to contract, direct to seller, to me, that's more impressive. I agree. I'm not yeah. I'm not denying that. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, at the end of the day, it's about making money. That's all I'm saying. And if we both have an opportunity to make money. Wait, Scott. Wait, 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 Scotty. Scotty says he's sending the contract. He's in a private chat. Yeah, Wait, yeah, he that? is. But we we can't we can't we can't consider that for the vote at all. It, it ran over time. We had we had a timer and it just it, it went too far over. You know, it's tough, but that's just we got to set the rules. So uh, everybody, uh, there's the link hey, for everybody. You can judge it however you want, Gene. Yeah, I guess Gene can however he wants. But everybody, <laughs> there is there is the link. Make your vote. There's the link. Make your vote. Everybody, go and vote right now. If you're not voting, right. you're a goofball. You're you're Put Scotty up. Put Scotty up on the mic. What, what, what's he? Is he still on the phone? Yeah, he's still on the phone. Thanks. Oh, he left the whole fucking thing. Oh fuck. <laughs> I think he'll come back. I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he didn't mean to do that. You're right. Everybody, vote for who you think won. Vote for who you think won. What the fuck? He was, on, yeah, Manuel, he was on the call before the time ran out, but we had to make sure we gave RJ an opportunity to make his call because we have a, we have a hard timeline, and it wouldn't be fair to give, uh, to give Scotty two really high-quality private stock leads where RJ only got time to call one, right? So that's why we set an eight-minute timeline when we had the 15 minutes left. Eight minutes, eight minutes, it would have gotten us to here, which gives us enough time to vote, right? So we, we, Scotty, we had to set it just... better. I got another fax machine. <laughs> Oh, you're muted, bud. I keep unmuting myself, and someone keeps fucking muting me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I, that's me. Oh, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm bummed that you guys didn't hear that one. I, I actually hung up because I knew that I was muted, but that was a contract all day. I don't know if it was a deal at 45, but I was going to get it signed just for the purpose of getting a contract signed on the show. There's not a lot of comps. There was one that sold for like 60. There's no ARV comps. There's a bunch of as-is comps, a couple that are not sold, so... Who knows? That's a good deal. But you guys cut it, cut me off right when he gave me his number. He's like, he's like, you know what? Fuck it. You give me 45. I'll sell it to you today. You guys muted me right before he said that. That's hilarious. Cause you know what I said, Scotty, when, when Liam muted you and he said, okay, RJ call, I said, you know, what sucks is, is that was a good lead. He's just a weird dude and Holy. he just won't give Scotty the number. That's it. Just give the number and and let's see what happens. And then he gave it. So I hate yeah. that kind of shit. I mean, and honestly, I'm like the last person in the world that would ever be like, hey, I've got a timeline. But 
That's why I told you guys up front. I was like, listen, we, we just got – this is the one time I got this hard to stop. I know. And I want to make sure that it's fair. It's all good. I, I yeah. get it. Um, you know, just – Dude, but you – you you got that you got that thing out of him, man. That was awesome. That was yeah, I, I, thought that, I thought that was That's completely sure. dead. I thought that to be was honest, dead. Honest, Scotty, I didn't think you and I neither one of us had like closable leads that we did not close. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt like yeah. you had one that was a good creative finance. I had one. I felt like we're probably both going to get callbacks on those. Yep. Right. And. At that point in time, it's why some of these like closing competitions, it's like, well, really ultimately closing comes down to the follow up and and how well you do that. That's where the mm -hmm. great deal Wait, uh, Liam, one big follow. thing, real quick, Liam, I don't think people can click that link in the YouTube comments. Can they? Yeah, they can. It has, yep, yep, they can. They absolutely can. It's, 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 cl it's clickable. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all clickable. Right, cool. Everybody, make sure you're going and voting. Guys, I think I think what we're going to do here, we're going to remove Mr. Uh, RJ and Scotty. Gene, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, all right? Without them here to be pressuring us into, uh, you know, loving either of them more. What are your thoughts? What did you like? What didn't you like? Dude, well, man, for me, the highlights were the freaking, uh, the, 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 dude, uh, <laughs> that was huge. That was, I think that was like, better than a than a lead than closing a lead closing a fucking wholesaler lead that most people that go on speed to lead.com no offense most people would be like oh my god it's a wholesaler click call support for a refund right dude rj like turn to turn that around yeah and will probably help the guy sell it that that I was think, to me I that think... was like Especially the, the as a motivation founder, and intent like, was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So would you let's so, bring uh, let's let's bring awesome. RJ in and ask him just if he's got that contract returned that JV agreement. Is that JV agreement in your inbox, RJ? Um, no, I have not okay. gotten the information. He jumped on here and started watching the live. So hey, Max, he did. You know, he, yeah, he, he, started watching it. he said I gotta watch the live. So I haven't gotten anything from him. It's crazy. Oh man. Okay. Okay. So no, no, no contract signed, but. I agree. I think that that's something that we haven't had happen. We've had conversations with wholesalers. We haven't had a hard and fast, like, yeah, we can help you get this thing done sort of deal. So, hmm. You know what I like, though? I mean, RJ, to the point, but Scotty, he gives some really good, just like, down-to-earth, like, sales 101, right? If you look at, like, the theory behind what he's saying, a lot of the stuff, it's just good. It's cold, right? It's it it's just it stays on the uh like everything that like I like teaching about sales, Scotty hits all those check boxes. He gets into the emotions of the seller, he touches a little bit deeper, and RJ just goes in, goes straight for the jugular. Um, so I think that's what I really liked. And at the end there, I think that it was uh it was um that was definitely gonna be a good contract. And he managed to push through, even with that guy. I mean, everybody's had a seller like that where they are going to tell a story about everything, right? Like you ask them, how much do you want? And that, and well, and that's even with, you know, all the wood inside the house and all these materials. It's like, okay, dude, that's not my question. Just answer the question. And they just loop into another story and another story and another story. Those people are tough to deal with. And he managed to get through that. I mean, just perfectly. I thought it was great. So it's going to be a close one. You're muted. Too. I, I did not expect the, the, like my hats off to Scotty uh, for turning that shit around, for even that getting the, uh, that guy to to even just agree. That was like that was that was just that was some fucking trickery there. That that that's that was some absolute. Oh, and Gene, Gene, I even wanted I, I even yeah. wanted me to let you know to uh he he messaged us in the group on WhatsApp to make, so make sure to check that. So. But guys, I think we're going to do the audience poll right now. We're going to bring them back in. We, I want to get your guys' reaction. The audience poll, remember, this is only going to be for one-third of the vote. Best two out of three wins. Okay? Best two out of three wins. Okay. We get a drum roll, please, everybody. 
and the live results of the poll say RJ Bates wins with 64% of the vote. Put it, put it up on a screen. 16. Yeah, let me put it on the screen really quick. Look at that, guys, right there. RJ, 64% Ooh, of the vote, 29 to 16. Got to bring the belt out just real quick for this moment. <laughs> now, guys, remember, though, remember. <laughs> Because Gene and I are also also. I'm so glad it is. I'm so glad that the. I'm just glad that the vote is clear that we don't have to make that call because this is a pretty great show from both from both of you guys. <laughs> whoa, 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 Gene, Gene, we still vote, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all can still vote. Y'all are the judges. factor here. For me, yeah, I mean, personally, I had Scotty at the end of the day. I did have Scotty because I liked his more traditional sales style. I think because neither you guys got contracts signed at the end of the day. Um, I think that just some of the traditional uh, methods that Scotty displayed were, were pretty fire. Yeah, man. But I, I still like to me that converting a wholesaler. I, we, I know how many refund requests we get for wholesalers. Nobody even tries. Nobody even fucking tries wholesaler leads. So, so, so that that put it over the edge for me for for our Jama. So. Um, well, there it is. I, I mean, we've got four victory. minutes really quick. What I want to do is I want to give just a little winner's interview to uh, the man, the myth, the legend, R.J. Bates. My my victory speech is, Liam, you're dead to me. And and Gene, you're welcome for, for showing everyone that they don't have to get uh, refunds just because it's a wholesaler. So maybe now you'll have less refunds once they... I'm going to cut that video out. I'm going to chop it up. You better Everyone... put my fucking affiliate link on there, okay? <laughs> Dude, RJ, you're going to get your clout from TikTok, man. You're throwing that up on TikTok. We already know. Pat's on it. I can exactly. I already imagine him right there. Just his... Right? <laughs> hey, real quick, though. Uh, shout out to Scotty um, because... Seriously, for the people that don't know how this came about, okay? Scotty came into my Instagram DMs and was saying, I could beat you, I could take you down, you don't know who I am, but I'm a great closer. And so I just literally was talking shit and was like, all right, well then you have to beat somebody else. And then if you beat someone else, then I'll let you compete against me. And so... Another guy, Daryl, he came in and he was talking shit. And I told him the same thing and they both agreed. And so I was like, all right, y'all go do this. So months ago, a couple months ago, they did the competition together. I thought Scotty did a, an amazing job that night. He did the, the FaceTime call. He had several uh, creative finance offers that he made. Um, I think, Scotty, you even ended up closing a deal on that, didn't you? Like in real life, you actually yeah. closed a deal. Um, and so I... You know, it took us a couple months to finally get this going. But I thought, um, honestly, tonight, I, I just didn't think we, either one of us had great abilities to, to showcase our, our skills. I mean, I think out of all the nights, this was just the one where it was like, man, I, I wish uh, more was happening. I kind of feel like you got the night that I got against Nick Louivano where I only got to talk to two people. And it yeah, was like, was man, tough. it kind of sucks, you know. Does that, mean, does that mean we can have a rematch then or what? Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of like Conor McGregor rematching someone that's never won a fight before. But sure, I mean, you know, the audience showed up. So sure, Scotty, we could do it again, bud. I, I don't mind beating your ass again. It, we'll, okay. We could do it. I, I We're Instagram friends now. I followed you. You have 700 oh, now. That's the win yeah. for me today, then. That's all I guys, care about. <laughs> check, check out Scotty's tag. It's in his name, Scotty Balsamo. Guys, this guy's a beast. Right, he's getting tons of con how many how many uh properties you picked up this year, man? This year about ten. That's already in April. Okay, guys, like this yeah. guy's somebody who's really doing business, and once he decides to start doing social media a little bit more, I mean, he's somebody you're gonna want to follow. Dude's obviously great on the phones. He's somebody who's uh you know can get a lot of advice from. So I'm just gonna throw this out there. You are better than eighty percent of the closer Olympics competitors. More than Thank eighty, you, bro. I think more I mean, than 80%. I, I'm just throwing that out there because it's like I know some of them have skill sets that are really good, and so I'm trying to be nice to some of my friends. But I, I you're one of the better closers that I've seen, Scotty. Honestly, thank you, bro. That means a lot. Uh, I would love to participate in the Closers Olympics. Uh, so if any of you guys have pull there, get me on. Unless so here's what I'm trying to work. Okay, 
I'm trying to get it to where they will allow me to do open runs and I'm the judge. And then I say, okay, boom, here's who can actually compete in the closer's Olympics. Cause I told him, I was like, okay, so I won. What do I get for winning? I get a belt. I could have fucking bought a belt. I mean, give me right. some, give me some pull here, you know? So I would love to have you in there. Cause honestly, I think if you were in there, dude, people, <laughs> they need to be nervous about that. That can was we, one of the, uh, can we get some ahead. speed to leads in the Olympics? Yes. It's all fucking cold calls. We Listen. tried to submit them last time, and it, it, something didn't work last time for, for like was because like people would submit thousands and thousands of leads, and then we we spent like ten fucking grand, uh, three days running up to the Olympics, and like yep. not even one of those fucking leads got picked out because people sent like literally thousands. Ours just got like, you know, watered down or whatever. Um, That's crazy. But <laughs> you know, you people. Yeah, <laughs> You do one of the biggest complaints that I heard from people who watched the uh the closers Olympics was they felt that there were some people on there who just shouldn't have been on there. So I think if well, uh, RJ were filtering it, then well well, I mean they they showed that. And and to be honest with you, um I am very big about this. I said this last night in the recap. Well, by the way, if you didn't watch the Closure Olympics recap, I was introduced as the most hated man in all of real estate, okay? Um, so <laughs> I guess that's because I beat them. But I said, as participants of the Closure Olympics, you have a responsibility to showcase what we do in this industry, and that's help solve people's problems. And I mm -hmm. think that's what I love about every time I hear Scotty talk to a seller, it's not just bullshit trying to lock up a deal. He's sitting here saying – Hey, we could do seller finance. We could do novation. We could do uh, seller finance. This is the reason why seller finance is beneficial to you. This is the what I want showcased in our industry is that you actually educate yourself on the multiple different ways that we can help solve people's problems. That's why I like Scotty, to be honest with you. It has nothing to do with the way that he talks to sellers and all that. It has to do with his problem solving skills and how he showcases what we actually do as real estate investors. That I think is what needs to be showcased at the closers Olympics. I, to be honest with you, building rapport, that's what you fucking do with grandmas. Okay. And not every person that we talk to is a grandma. Okay. And so that's why I love seeing what Scotty does with how he talks to sellers. And he talks to people, even this guy right here. And, and I saw it in the comments where you were explaining how he can make 5% on his money. That's better than the half percent he was making. I saw that in the comments. So I'm assuming you were talking about seller financing. I was on the mm -hmm. phone. I, I just love seeing how you handled those situations. So Thank that being you. said, guys, I do had a hard stop three minutes ago. So I do have to go. I was Thank say. you, guys. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank it. you for bringing your freaking best, just, just best game and sharing this with everybody. Yeah, Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks Thanks sure. I appreciate you guys. Have a great uh, rest of your day. And uh, truthfully, this is why I hit up RJ. I just wanted to, you know, get it in good with you guys and uh, you get know, some clouds. Dude, I, 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 I really want to see Scotty back on this, Liam. The, just it's incorrect. Like people, I voted for him, man. So you much. didn't vote on it. You didn't say you wanted back. Didn't you vote for him? I risked my reputation with RJ for that. Dude, I, I, agree. Hey, Leah, I, love, baby. I love you, dude. You're, you're the man. And and, and we, we both know you're right. Come on. Let, let's be real. When we All right. Enough of that. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. You guys are awesome for tuning in. Guys, I want to do one more link in the chat for you. Make sure you guys are joining our training community. Okay. Hop in right there. It's going to be a ton of fun. We do trainings. RJ will be in there next Wednesday, so make sure you guys are there. Also, sign up for Speed to Lead. Use the link below, guys. If we don't get enough signups, we literally just can't afford to do these shows for you guys. You guys don't even get to learn how to close, and nobody wants that, right? So make sure you guys are signing up. Support the show. Support the gang. I cannot wait to see you guys. We'll be live again next week. This is Liam tuning out. Once I get our ad wall ready, hang on. I didn't have it pulled up. Here it is. Tune it out. See you guys. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedTheLead.com.